Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will see DJV player and I will show you practically how you can use this for VFX and animation film production and uh, let's just go with the website first and uh, you can just get it uh, DJV after when you go to Google and you search DJV and you will see the first link I just opened this and I came to this uh, player and this is really very interesting uh, player and you can see that there is uh, I already created one more video five years back I mean in 2014 I created that and you can check it out this also in my channel All right, friends. and uh, in this uh, player is actually getting lot more changes in this so we'll see this what are the changes in that compared to the previous version because currently the version which we are going to see is djv 2.0 djv uh, provide professional review software for vfx animation and film production playback high resolution high bit depth image sequence video so you can play exrs you can play image sequence jpeg sequence or you can play prores movies up to 4k whatever resolution you have you can play and we will also see uh, the features also of this so guys before we start if you haven't subscribe vfx pipeline channel please subscribe because i'm going to come with more fun stuff with you so you can learn a lot of cool new softwares available interesting thing is this djv player is available for download for free so you don't need to pay anything no license okay interesting stuff and let's just go and start our djv player and let me just start i already installed this and once you go to the download section you can see that there is a linux version so interesting thing is in vfx studios we have more uh, a linux based uh, environment where you can download the rpm for uh, centos and red hat based system deb file for debian ubuntu and tar file for uh, whatever linux distribution you are using you can also use it in mac you can download the dmg file and i already downloaded exe file that file I download it and I install already perfect so if you want to interested in to see the previous version that is also there and the review of the old version you also you can find in my channel where I showed you that is this is the old look without further delay guys let me just see the application and here we go this is the new application brand new design and the UI is much more professional now and uh, I really like some of the features here which I will show you so first thing is if you want to uh, load any footages here all you can do is you can just file and you can just use open so once you go with file open and you can browse through uh, whatever drives you have so you can just select your drive so let me go to D drive and I created uh, djv folder here so in djv folder i added few footages for you guys to see uh, what kind of content that you can see uh, let me just load first uh, a exr sequence because that is one which in vfx studios and film studios we are using a lot so this is the image sequence that we have uh, these are 120 frames uh, so I just loaded this here and you can see is uh, if I can start playing and I can see this playing also perfect okay now guys uh, we'll explore few of the options here and uh, let me start with the zoom option so you can just scroll and you can start zooming this and you can go in the top and you can see there are few other options where you can actually fit the view so if you zoom and you can click here so that that will fit you that uh, footage for you so this is right now what we are browsing is 4k footage and uh, also if you want to zoom uh, to one is to one so this is the actual pixel uh, i mean this is a 4k but this is actually fit to the screen so both options you have it's very handy these are the shortcut which is having here you have a pen tool which is you can select and then you can start panning that and even if this pen tool is not activated you can use your middle mouse button to pan that and that is very interesting okay uh, then we have one of the coolest tool here which is this color picker because in VFX we definitely sometimes we really want to see the color tone and you can also adjust this color picker size also so if you are in review room or somewhere you can just make it bigger to see the what exactly the color is what exactly color you are looking for so for example if you want to see this yellowish tone so you can just simply go with that 
uh, this will show you some sort of like a pixel information as you can see that three how many pixels that actually is uh, viewing so this is interesting stuff uh, zoom so this is a kind of a magnify tool within that uh, DJV and there we can actually wherever our mouse pointing and it start zooming that but this is not interesting here what is interesting is let me just uh, uh, like uh, reduce the size and now if I want to particularly focus on particular uh, content of my footage I can just make the zoom level up so for example like that and then I will start browsing so I can I'm here in the top of this uh, mountain and I can again zoom it so you can see each pixel pixel by pixel that information and this is very very useful when you are working for some sort of pixel highly pixel related uh, content viewing so here you can just simply uh, correct make your corrections based on your pixels right so this is where you can uh, utilize the magnify tool uh, usually you have to go and uh, I mean you need to scale the entire footage but with that you are actually based on your mouse you are uh, just viewing the pixels and uh, if there are some grains and all you can actually add you have creative freedom and you, you know that how you can utilize that okay uh, now interesting thing which I found here is this uh, let me just reduce that to show you what exactly the issue is so right now my EXR sequence which I'm using here is around 7 GB and that 7 GB file if I if I want to let me just try to open that okay let me try oh. <clears throat> what happened? okay so uh, let me just see this uh, this so now you can see this is loading here and if I try playing here and you can see this uh, footage is loading in my if you see the timeline it's not caching completely because it's just waiting for you to see the memory how much memory you want to allocate for your uh, for your player so now if I want to give more memory you can start seeing that it's actually caching more so it depends on how much RAM you have in your PC so in my case I have 64 GB of RAM I can go up to 63 and it will utilize and cache all the footages exs whatever i have this is interesting stuff right let me just quickly move and just start playing that in real time so now it's playing uh, my footage in real time i can change the fps settings to uh, 8 fps or up to 20 to 40 fps so it's like a fast one uh, whatever based on your project setting you can actually play around with the fps settings also you can stop that and in the VFX review the most important part is you, you want to see frame by frame so that is also like on uh, on your arrow keys you can use uh, to move forward and backward in the same way okay so that is also interesting thing that we already get here timeline is nothing change here you can easily see what are the things you can have and you can just directly go to the current frame you have the option to loop ping pong and just only select one I prefer loop because it's uh, always keep going on and on okay so this is what we cover on that UI part let me just quickly show you some of the cool color correction and grading tools also so for that what you can do is you can go to images and uh, let me just first start with the uh, image control and image control basically uh, you will get all kind of uh, informations like channel if you want to see the channel transformation color so if you want to adjust the brightness and all uh, if you want to see the contrast and all because these kind of tools are very important when you are actually in the review process So that's that's pretty cool uh, Another thing is which in the review process that you want to see is you want to see the color spaces and the LUTs Okay, so right now we have few LUTs here. You can add more whatever you want. You can add new open IO configurations here and uh, So uh, if you have new ACs and all your configuration you can apply here so this is the nuke default and SPI name and SPI VFX RGB color spaces that you can uh, you can utilize all these things so you can add your custom LUT uh, exposure if you want to enable that and you can play around that also so these are all kind of color things that you will get if you want to visualize any particular channel that also you can do that uh, this is all the play options and uh, I think that is uh, pretty much but the interesting thing this is not over here I want to give you some bonus tips 
this player you can utilize in another way also so what you can use is you can uh, first what you can do is let me uh, let me open uh, there was a okay ah, interesting so in the settings when you go there are few other options here that is actually you can configure your UI uh, IO settings where you can define the threads how much thread uh, you want to utilize so it depends on how much uh, memory uh, how much uh, CPU cores uh, and threads you have available and you want to how much you want to dedicate for your uh, review player that is for DJV so that's actually very interesting uh, thing that I see in this player so it's utilize your full threads, full cores and also the compression quality when you are watching the jpeg so that supply some compression and it's using ffmpeg so there also you can provide threads open exrs also so the, everything that you can actually provide what kind of uh, what kind of uh, processing power and the cpu cores that you want to allocate for your uh, review system pretty much interesting right you can configure your UI with light and dark and using a unit using time codes and frame and that is where actually what you are seeing in the down frame. Uh, in VFX mostly we prefer uh, frames because that is actually quite easy for us to uh, quickly go to the particular frame. So right now you can see this right now I am in frame number 43 and if I am let's go to frame number 97 and it's showing this frame number 97. So with that we are able to see some of the quickest thing, uh, easiest thing and let me just uh, show you some of the other thing. Uh, this one, the maximization. So sometimes we are watching multiple uh, windows and you can actually put this here and let's just go to the file and open another thing again. Let me go back. Uh, let me load a uh, another footage and this is a MOV. So I just loaded this MOV here and let me just maximize that and fit to this screen and uh, this is a uh, again the chroma footage that we have here and uh, you can utilize uh, this for viewing but right now we have two footages so that's what I want to show it here like you have two and you can uh, just line up your footages here. Uh, let's just add few more and you have uh, like file open and let me take this another footage here just to show you that if you have multiple shots multiple version if you want to review so you can easily review all those in just one uh, one uh, video and if you have audio that audio also you can you can listen and uh, if you want to, if you don't want to listen the audio then you can mute your audio that is pretty interesting correct okay so uh, let me just stop that and if I can find some other cool tips for you guys so that is uh, let me just uh, max minimize that okay and uh, if you go to the file this these are nothing new here all these things are very good uh, okay interesting thing is if you are if you have uh, this is my last tip here and if you are watching any previews and if let's say if you have any image controls open here and you are playing with some you are playing this and you are applying some color uh, values okay and since you apply those color value and if you leave your mouse then it will auto hide that and that's actually I really like this feature this is kind of a very small feature but it's very interesting I mean for review process we really want to see these kind of stuff uh, a lot and when we again you change your mouse and you will see this thing back interesting stuff when you can go in the back and you can just see all this uh, movies or whatever available for you so you can easily switch back and forth directly from here and let me change this to this so let me just uh, play so here you have option to actually switch back whatever uh, footages that you already loaded see it's playing right now here and we can easily switch our version okay so we can zoom it and also we can change we can zoom it and also we can have this interesting right so that's it guys you can just go and download this from the link you can find in the description of this video djb imaging 2.05 is the application that we just see uh, interesting application and thank you for the developers who actually developed this awesome tool for us and uh, 
provided us uh, this tool so that's it for this video and i will come up with some more interesting software updates for you guys okay thank you guys i will see you in my next videos thank you